Welcome to the Outgrow Software Tutorial. In this Outgrow Tutorial, we are going to show you step by step how you can use this tool to generate quality leads with the help of quizzes, calculators, assessments, and much more engaging content. The best part is, you don't need any technical experience to use this tool, as this is a complete no code software. This will be a complete walkthrough video, so make sure to follow along with this video and figure out how to use this tool. First, click on the first link which is given in the video description. This is an exclusive affiliate link, which will provide you a 7-day free trial of Outgrow. During this 7 days, you can try all the features of this tool and get used to it. The link will take you to this page. You only need to enter your email here, and then click on Start Free Trial. Next, select a password for your account here, and then click on this Get Started button. This will take us to the dashboard of Outgrow where you will see a lot of different options. Here, you can see different content types that you can create using Outgrow. They also added an AI-powered content generator recently, which will help you create content effortlessly. Then we also have a sample calculator here. On the right side, you'll see the PDF builder. And on the left-hand side, you will see this to-do list, which you can simply follow to create your first content piece. On the top menu, you can see some options like A-B testing, performance, and analytics. These are advanced options to track your content. Alright, now it's time for us to create our first piece of content. So, let's start by creating a calculator. So click on the numerical calculator. Here we can either start from scratch or we can choose one of the templates. So simply choose one the template and then click on the use layout option. Great! Now that we have selected the template, let's begin customizing our calculator. The left panel provides a range of tools and elements you can add to your calculator. You can add elements such as text, images, buttons, sliders, and more to make your calculator visually appealing and user-friendly. Simply click on an element and drag it onto the canvas to add it. To customize the appearance of an element, select it on the canvas, and the left panel will display the editing options. You can change colors, fonts, sizes, and other styling properties. Then, you can increase or decrease the rating count using this option and add more personalization to your calculator. Next, we can also mark this rating screen as mandatory by enabling this button. Just like this, we can edit everything using these options. Just click on the canvas and the left panel will display all the editing options. Now, we can also add more options in this, like we will simply add an option as other. We can also change the grids and how you want to view the pictures etc. using these options. Then, you can come back to the sitemap by clicking on this button, and from here, you can open any of these screens and edit them. For example, we will open the end screen, and here we add or remove the links to our social media accounts. By clicking on these options, you can insert an image, chart or tables as well. Let's try these features into our calculator. So, click on the chart button and then, here, you can customize this chart. Once you are done, click on the insert chart button. Same for the table, simply click on the table and then customize it, add the number of rows and columns and then click on the insert table. Then, we can also add buttons by enabling this button. We can also add or remove the social media icons using these options here. Outgrow provides a wide range of built-in functions and operators to help you create complex calculations. You can also set up conditional branching to provide customized results based on user inputs. Once you've finished customizing the design of your calculator, you can see the features at the left side, here is the lead generation. The overall design options, from here we can change the color, background, fonts and alignment of the calculator. Next we have the settings button, here you will find all the necessary buttons, like the header and footer options, the countdown timer, the number of visitors, etc. Simply explore these options and add them accordingly. Next is the e-payments and the phone number verification option. Here is the brand guide, you can simply add the brand guide by clicking on this button. Then we can also convert this calculator into another type of content, like survey, polls, etc. We can also check the performance of the calculator by clicking on the performance. After this, we can also copy the link of this calculator onto our clipboard, and we can also preview it by clicking on the preview button. 
The preview mode allows you to test your calculator and see how it would appear and function for your audience. Make sure everything looks and works as expected. When you're satisfied with your calculator, click on the live button to make it live and shareable. Outgrow provides multiple publishing options, including embedding the calculator on your website, sharing it via a URL, etc. Congratulations! You've successfully created an engaging calculator using Outgrow. Now, it's time to gather valuable insights and leads from your audience's interactions. Outgrow offers detailed analytics to help you track user engagement, conversions, and other key metrics. You can access the analytics dashboard to gain insights and optimize your content. Simply, copy the link of your calculator now and paste it in your browser. Here, we can see our calculator, let's try it out. So, this is the calculator that we have created. Now, let's analyze the calculator. For this, click on the Analyze option. Here, you can have the overall view of the calculator, it includes, number of visitors, total number of conversions, etc. On the left panel, we get various other options, like, user details, export data, user funnels, channel analytics, compare, reports and more. All of these features allows the creator to get relevant information about the users. Now, let's come back to our dashboard. Here, we can see two of our tasks have been scratched in the to-do list, which means we have completed two steps. Here is the calculator we just published. From here, we can check the total number of leads, total number of views, and from the three dots option, we can perform number of activities like editing and deletion as well. Now, let's move further in the video. Next is the outcome quiz, so click on this button. And now choose one of the design layout, then click on the view button, and if you like the layout, proceed with the use layout button on the top right. This is our layout for outcome quiz. Now, we will make some basic changes for your better understanding. Simply, editing the text. Now, let's proceed to the second slide. Click on the canvas, here you can see a single select option has been chosen, you can also change it, if you want. As we know, we're creating an outcome quiz for 7 days free sales and marketing training program. Let's make some basic changes as this program is for students and marketers. Then we can also change the design and other things like we did in the calculator. So make all the changes. And then proceed with the advanced mapping option. Simply enable this and set conditions for the outcome. Then click on the map outcomes button. Now, let's publish this outcome quiz. On the dashboard, you can see that the quiz has been successfully published. Now, let's move on with the assessment. Click on the assessment button, then choose either a layout or a template, then, your editor will open. Now, simply make the necessary changes according to your specifications. Once you're done, publish the assessment like we did before. Now we will try out the survey. Simply choose one of the templates and then edit your changes accordingly. Let's come to the screen and let's edit the rating bar. Click on the canvas and here we will decrease the rating using this bar. Once you're done, publish the survey. Now let's go back to our dashboard. Here is the to-do list. You can click on any of the task and a tutorial video related to that particular task will play. After this, you can manually click on the done button and you're done. Let's proceed with adding a new team member. For this, click on this button and write the name and email address of the member. Then choose the role. Then click on the add member option. You can also copy this link from here and send it to the added member through messenger. Then we're going to add integration in any of our content. For this, choose one of the content and select the edit option, then here, click on the configure button. Here, choose on the integration button and scroll down to the account that you have added. Say, we added a drive account. Now click on the inactive button. It will send a test link, once the link has been tested successfully. Click on proceed to map fields. Then select one of the folder and click on the select and continue option. And you're done adding integration in your content piece. Now let's try out the advanced features. For this, 
Choose one of the content piece, we will choose the outcome quiz. Simply click one the three dots and then on the edit button. It will open the editor. Now, here, we will simply select the second question, then, scroll down, to the bottom, here, click one the apply logic jump option. Logic jump works like the if else conditions. Here, choose the response, then the operation, and then, select from the options given. Then choose the response, it will jump to. Just like this, you can put up conditions in the content. By clicking on this button, we can add more conditions. We can add as many conditions as we want, using the logic jump. Once you're done, click on the done button. Now, let's come back to our dashboard. Just like this, we have to complete all of these tasks in the to-do list. Next up, we have this ask anything bot. You can ask anything over here, and their team will respond within two to three minutes. So, let's simply drop a question over here. Next is the Outgrow AI-powered content generation tool. This tool will help you generate content by simply answering the basic questions, and then the AI will automatically generate the content according to your specifications. Now, click on the Try Now option. Then the AI will ask questions like the industry, target audience, specific keywords for the content, preferred tone, etc. If you have any idea on how you want your content to be, you can write it here. We will choose I don't have any specific idea option. Then it will question about some more things and once you're done, simply write down the main message that you want to display in the content piece. At the right side, you can see that the Outgrow team has responded to our text. Now, within a minute or two, this page will open. Here you can see the suggestion and choose among them. You can also edit the texts if you want. Give your content piece the personalization to make it look more attractive and inquisitive. Then you can also change or choose the background image like this. Now that we're done, click on the Create My Content button. Now the chatbot is ready. You can edit it more, change the images, fonts, and more. Here, click on the Add New button and we will add the ranking grid from here. You can edit the options like this. So, quickly edit these options. And now, we're done. Click on the Go Live button and public the content. You can also launch your content using a QR code. Click on the Download button. And the QR has been downloaded. Let's view our QR code from here. This is our QR. Let's come back to our dashboard. And you see our chatbot is published. Next we have the PDF Builder. Click on the Create PDF button. Then choose one of the templates. Click on the Next button. This is the PDF Builder. You can make changes and add more personalization to this. Just explore these features and make your PDF attractive. You can save the PDF by clicking on this button. And by clicking on this button, you can take a preview of the PDF. Now, let's come back to our dashboard. Lastly, let's try the A-B testing. Click on the Start A-B testing now. Here, click on the Create your A-B testing group. Now, on this page, choose some of your contents that you have created. Next, set your traffic distribution among the contents. Then, give a name to your group. And then paste your parent URL here. Now, here you can edit the featured image if you want to. Lastly, click on the Save A-B Testing Group. From here, we can embed, analyze, edit, and delete the group as well. To create a new group, click on the Add New Group button. And that's it. We're done here. Let's go back to our dashboard. That's it for this Outgrow tutorial. We hope this Outgrow tutorial video has provided you with valuable insights and guidance on how to leverage this powerful platform to drive engagement, generate leads, and boost your business growth. Outgrow offers an array of interactive content and personalized marketing solutions that empower you to create engaging quizzes, calculators, assessments, and more without any coding knowledge.
Remember to keep your content relevant, engaging, and tailored to your target audience. Start using Outgrow today and unlock the potential of interactive marketing to take your business to new heights. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future tutorials. Thank you for watching this video.